Hi, I'm Bogdan. I'm the IC Care Hampers Coordinator for the Southside. Yeah, there's, there's really good stuff in this Hampers. There's, there's chips uh, and there's crackers and dips and soft drinks. You know, all the, all the things that as a kid, when I was going to school, I wanted that kind of stuff, but my mum didn't let me. She would keep packing me these ethnic sandwiches with salami and homemade bread and I just wanted some chips. And like, you know, sometimes when I'm packing these hampers, I look at these things and I'm thinking, man, I could do with some right now. So today we're going to give you a demo on how we pack a hamper on the south side. Now before we start, it's really important to get the preparation area really clean. Beauty. So we've laid our ingredients on the table and now we're ready to roll. Now, I want you to forget about everything you've learned before about packing the hampers. I don't care what your mama told you, this is the pro way of doing a hamper. The most important ingredient of all of these things here is, of course, the bag. Now you might not think it's an ingredient, but this, this is the most important part. You might think you might want a a colourful bag, a, a, a pretty bag. I'm just here to remind you, this is not a favour conference. This is IC Care. And uh, we want things that are nice and sturdy and hold all these things together. So, what have we got here? We got some pasta, we got some soft drink, we got some cans of food, some sauces, some good wheat mix for, for strong people. And uh, yeah, if you're asking, if you're wondering, what sort of thing goes into an IC Care bag? This is a simple test. If you can grab your food, drop it, and still good as new, it can go in the IC Care bag. Right, now, let's start packing. There we go, folks. A freshly packed IC Care hamper. Now, a very important thing after you pack a hamper, you have to let it rest for 30 minutes before distribution, okay? But since we don't have the time, here's one that's been resting for 30 minutes, ready to go. My care factor is being involved in the community, doing something to change someone's life, um, someone who perhaps is struggling or, or going through a tough situation and, and through IC Care, we're able to do that. We're able, literally able to bring hope to people's lives. Uh, just a, a simple thing like a, some food to a person that's struggling it's going to change their situation, it's going to uplift their day. So that's great. It's great being able to work with the chaplains. It's great being able to work with other volunteers from our church who are so committed and, and, and so helpful every week, week in, week out. So I saw Trevor from IC Care North had a bit of trouble starting the car last week. I think it took him about one hour. Let me show you Trevor how we do things on the south side. We just literally think about it and just mentally start the car. Voila! It takes a special kind of person to do this job. You've got to be strong will and motivated, and you've got to be tough. In fact, before I even start packing, I have a bit of a ritual where I start uh, warming up. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 103, 104, 105. Well, here we are at Springwood State High School, and we're going to drop some hampers off here for the local chaplain. Interestingly enough, this is the school where I graduated from in 1999. Great year, that one. We've just dropped off the hampers here with uh, Karen at uh, Springwood High and she's going to distribute it to families in need. So it's always uh, a great feeling knowing that you've done something meaningful. And uh, yeah, that's it for us. Thanks for hanging out with me for today and seeing how we do things on the south side. Over to you, west side. Sometimes people ask me, can women do this job? The answer is yes but only the strongest ones. One of the most satisfying things about this job is passing those hampers to the chaplains, but at the same time, it's one of the saddest things because after you spend all that time packing them, you get a little bit attached, you know? So when you hand them over, it's almost like, oh, I kind of want to keep it. So church, the question is, what's your care factor?